Hey everybody, hey Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden and we're here to help you become a better gardener. And today we're taking a little tour. Yeah, back we're, gonna, here. we're gonna show you around yeah, our garden. We're gonna show you uh, different projects that we got going on yeah. or that we've been doing. Um, Cause we haven't done one of we these in a while. We haven't done one in a while. Yeah. Just, so, so let's get started. Yeah, let's we see what's going on. We can't wait to show you around. Here we go. Hey guys, really quick, before we get into the tour, wanted to let you know, we're gonna cover a lot of area and we're gonna talk about a lot of different plants. We've broken up this video into certain chapters for those plants and those areas. So feel free to skip ahead in this video if you wanna look at and see us talk about specific plants that you're really interested in. Totally cool. Okay, with that, let's get on with the tour. Okay, you guys, let's take a little walk. I don't think we've ever done this yet with nope, you. Nope, we haven't really done this yet. We've and been this able is going to be fun. This yeah, is... take you on in. So yep. we do have a lot of things in bloom. There's a lot of things that are about to bloom. So it's kind of a blend as early summer usually is, right? So let's stop here because this is kind of fun. Um, we wanted to, now, first of all, a lot of you know that we moved recently a couple months ago. So everything we have is in containers right now, like everything. So we have everything staged in my mom's yard. Um, we wanted to kind of set a lot of these up so she can enjoy them. And we get to see them a couple times a week when we come here to check out our garden mm -hmm. and film. So we've got this really cool Garai vertical planter and we just loaded it up with color. This yeah, year. earlier, yeah, about mid spring, we just planted all those and it's really filling in looking good. It is, I love, yeah. like, look at this gorgeous blue lobelia. We've got this um, diacea right here, these beautiful wave petunias. Yeah, what about the, uh the trailing, the oh, creeping zinnia. One of Sean's new favorites, and I love it too, the San Vitalia. Yeah, I'm gonna come in on that They're one. so cute. They're little mini, they're, it's not a true zinnia. Nope. But it's in the but, sunflower family. But, but look, look at the- Isn't that cute? Look at the blooms. Looks very similar to, definitely a daisy flower, but definitely similar also to a zinnia, I think. But look at those leaves. The leaves are very similar to- Very zinnia. Very zinnia-like. Zinnia-like so, very cool. we like that. I have to point out if we can even find it, this gorgeous peach verbena. In oh, here. the verbena, yeah. This is so dainty and pretty. Beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, so moving on. I know we've moving got so on. much to look at. Mm -hmm. A couple um, containers full of different, um, kind Cal of different varieties of the- Calibrocoa. Calibrocoa, the Super Bells Cal Calibrocoa from Proven Winners. Beautiful. We planted these a couple weeks ago and they have probably doubled in size. Oh yeah, So easily. they're definitely yeah. filling in. Yeah, they are filling in. You can, they're filling in all the edges. I love it. Just like we wanted them to. So kind of moving this way, there's so Ooh, much to yeah. show you guys. We're, we're not sure where to start. So we'll just kind of, we've got a whole um, bunch of these barrel planters we just picked up and we, we have these beautiful hydrangeas and budleia, um, kind of a variation of different plants from Proven Winners. Now this is Let's Dance Can Do Hydrangea. It's a Hydrangea serrata. Um, we're loving it because we didn't see it in bloom last year. Yeah. This is a one year old plant for us. Yeah, it's got a little bit of burning going on, yeah. a little bit of discoloration, you know, um, that's a little bit from just some transplant shock because we put these in here this spring. And then also, um, yeah, the, the sun intensity here has been, it's been kind of high. It's been kind of intense the last couple of weeks. So they're going to get a little bit of that, that burnt look to them, but they're doing well overall. And we're really babying them with lots of water and fertilizer. And they're, they're really bouncing back. Yeah, they're looking good. I was wondering if we could go over this way and show sure. them our fairy trail bride cascade hydrangea. Oh, look at that. It's, it's so beautiful Isn't and bloom. Isn't that pretty, you guys? That is such a cute little hydrangea, oh you guys. We just love it. Let's give you a different angle here. Proven Winners just sent that to us last year to try out in our garden. And of course, then we moved. So we just, again, recently potted this up and it's, it's looking a lot better. Mm -hmm. So we just, Sean just recently planted these two planters full of sun loving perennials. Um, these guys will, as with a lot of our plants, they will go right in our landscape when we find our next house in yep. our yard, yep. but we're loving this so far. All right, so we backtracked a little bit. Let's come on in. Now my mom has graciously given us this whole part of her garden. So we've literally taken it over. Here's some more stuff. Hey, We've got some, look at those salmon ranunculus right there. Oh yeah. We just planted those in March oh, wow. look and they guys. just popped open in the last couple weeks. And we are just oh. loving those. Look at the, that color. Whew. I'll get my shadow out of there. Sorry guys. So pretty. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. Just varying shades of kind of. When did we plant this? We planted them at the end of March oh my because God. we found them in the garage. Yeah, we I mean, just, we forgot that we had bulbs yeah, to plant. Yeah, and I think we, we got some leftover uh, daffodils here still growing, but then also 
we've got some uh, grape hyacinth down here. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's done for the year, but I mean, we weren't sure what this was, uh, what this was at first coming up. Cause and so what a nice surprise. Really nice surprise, I know. We've got um, a couple more hydrangeas right down below us here, and then some Liatris that is about to pop. Oh, so yeah. that's a fun. If you guys have any Liatris, you know. love our Liatris. That, that came from Eden Brothers. Wow, yep. Yep, and these were the Liatris. Yeah, they're in the pots down here, if I can get down here and look. Yep, those were from the front yard. Those were from... Um, oh, at our old house. Yeah, yeah. from at our old house. They were out in front of the, the raised beds. Yeah. Yeah, so cool. Kind of an eclectic mix. We've made a little island of things here in oh, the middle. Yes, yes. yes. Um, we have some old kind of um, chunks of cement here that we need to... We actually were going to move these, and we ended up just putting stuff on top of them. So yeah. became part of the thing. Yeah, we've decorated we over decorated it, it. around so, it. So, I know. So we have some things that are actually like run their course, like spring bulbs. We have some more ranunculus. Look at our, our geraniums here. geraniums, I know. Gorgeous, look looking good. Love that color. Oh, they're gorgeous. Oh, now these gorgeous. we planted last year. So this is, these all, we overwintered all of these in our greenhouse and we get to enjoy them again. Yeah, looking good, I you guys. I think this might've good. been a cutting. Um, yeah. We're not sure what color that is yet. So, yeah. Yeah. all right. So switching it up, guys. Trade. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some of this here. So we've got more of our ranunculus here. Some of these are kind of fading out a little bit, but others are just popped open and looking what? so beautiful. Look at this one, it's like yellow. I know, it's so bright this and beautiful. This one bag of bulbs, it's salmon color, right? It came out in multiple. It was colors. yeah. It was supposed to be salmon color only. Yeah, and we got all these multiple colors. It's what beautiful. Oh. Yep. Now down here, our pericalis is still going strong. We need to get in here and deadhead a little bit. But I mean, look at this guy. This is really doing really Beautiful. well right now. Yeah. Stuff of the leaves out of yeah. the way. Now, and we've also got our, our Dianthus here. You saw Allison, uh, maybe you did, maybe you didn't. She did a quick reel on this on Instagram, a deadheading video to help anybody out there that needed, so. to, yeah, needed to know about the deadheading. So that's cool and that's still going. Really impressed with that. Over here, this is so beautiful and looks so one great of my right favorite now. Favorite pots yeah, that we so have in our old. So, if house. you guys remember, this was one of our pots in our backyard, and this has this beautiful coneflower. Is this Cheyenne Spirit? Yes. Oh, one of our favorites. Love Cheyenne Spirit. Look at that coming in. Yep. Coming and in then, hot. And then we've got some yarrow that's coming in that we placed around this. And this is fun because it's almost like coming home so uh, for this yarrow because this yarrow actually came from this yard. It actually came from this yard. Um, Julie, Allison's mom, didn't want it. She gave it to us. She dug it up. She's gonna throw them out. So we took them, we put them in this pot, but now they're back here in this yard. Isn't that funny? That was kind of fun. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. So, but yeah, that pot is looking awesome. So yeah, if you guys just what, wanna- What do I spy behind you there? Oh, hey, look at this. Hey, this is our Can-Can uh, Cordy Line Australis. We got it potted up. Yeah, look at this, you guys. It's actually doing really it's doing well. Really well. It's got a little transplant shock. Don't mind some of these greening leaves or this dead back here, you know, this die back here. Just a little bit of par for the course here, but yeah, doing really well. Look at the center. This is so indicative. Uh, this is one of the traits of this can-can. Now let's get a good it's, look at those gorgeous leaves. So it's got these reddish colored leaves, these red margin leaves. And this is this is one of the characteristics of this plant where it grows like this and has so this pretty. red, um, the red margins on the leaves, uh, on all its new leaves. And then as it matures, the, the leaves turn green, and it's just part of how it grows. It's how it's it's how it's wired. It's really cool. Well, it's got a nice, healthy center, growing center here, and you can just kind of check. If you don't know, these plants grow from the very center on the stalk, and then they just kind of come out and these leaves just kind of whirl around and come out, but they always grow from the center down here. Now, what do you guys see where the, where the other two are? Because we have three total. Yeah, and we've got some surprises for you on that because we thought the other two didn't make it. They made it, and they made it like 10X made it. It's it's amazing to see, and we got some plans for those, and we're gonna make a video about that, So, but that's cool. But that's for a little bit later. So let's go over to Ooh, your left I there. Like, I know, there? there's, we'll, there's, we'll more, to, there's more to we'll talk about, but this is fun. So we've got two new planters here that we made a video about. We planted them up and you can check that out. We'll put a link down below or maybe on the top of the screen here. But we've got these two new planters and we've got these beautiful petunias here. These are these are wave, easy wave petunias. And these are doing really well, by the way, just looking in here. I know, I love how Oh this, yeah, look nice how and healthy. Flower head. I mean look yeah, at that. Yeah, that's so bright so too. So bright and they're so big. Oh. Yeah, love it. gorgeous. So we've got these mixed containers. I know, it's like, ah. Let's go over here. Yeah, so we've got our dahlia 
and this is beautiful. It's such a nice contrast because look at those dark, dark those green, dark. almost purple leaves. Beautiful. So yeah, guys, I mean, so prolific, such a great grow. This is Happy Days Purple, and it's it's just it's it's giving such a great contrast in this pot. Behind it, we've got the celosia, and we've got this like magenta colored uh, the plumes on this, the celosia plumosa, and so gorgeous. I wanted to call this out because I just noticed this. Here's your magenta plume. Look at the look at the edges of these leaf margins. Look at the margins on these leaves. That's almost got the same tinge of magenta as the flower does. That's it, pretty. Isn't that yeah. cool? I just noticed that. I, I didn't notice, notice that, that before. That is so beautiful. Wow. Very pretty. Yeah. And then if we go down here real quick, guys. I know we're spending a lot of time on this planter. So we've got verbena. This is Lanai. Lanai uh, candy cane. Lanai candy cane, yeah. And look at that. I mean, those blooms, they actually look like candy cane, don't they? Really cool. Cute. Beautiful. So and then we've got our euphorbia here in the center to kind of just making a little, just filling things in. Yeah, so that's diamond cool. Diamond frost. Diamond Love frost. Love that. All right, guys, enough about that I planter. Know. Really quick, let's hit this planter and then we'll move on here. We've got our French quarter coleus here. Isn't that beautiful? And this, this coleus will take full sun. So that makes it a little bit unique from the older coleus that you might be used to. Really yeah, cool. So much more versatile. And then there's that magenta color coming back over here to the other planter. So we've got our, uh, our easy wave white petunia here. Really cool. Beautiful. And then, really quick, I forgot the name of this verbena, you guys. It is, oh, Pink Fizz Verbena. Isn't that beautiful? It looks kind of, looks kind of fizzy, yeah, let's doesn't it? Let's get in there and see one of those. Yeah. 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 That little okay. shadow stuff going on. I know. On. So, I can't not be in the shot. I know. It's, it's awesome. There. Oh, I love that. So, we really like yep, that. Yep. And then we've got Delea Purple White. I know. Unfortunately, it's kind here, of facing here, backwards. Here, let me, uh, oh, thank let me you. just turn it there for you guys. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? Beautiful. With Beautiful. a whole bunch of buds coming in. Oh, yeah. Super prolific. So cool. So, yeah. So and just behind those, real quick, are uh, our first year of ever growing, um, which is super fun, these uh, Edo peonies, these two guys right here. Yeah, so here they are, two Edo peonies, beautiful plants. These are hybrids of regular peonies and then tree peonies. So that's why they're super unique. And this is where the flowers were. They're developing seed pods. We're going to collect these and we're going to see, uh, we, we want to see if we can get them to germinate. And we've got some more over here too. Right there. Look how big those are, you guys. That's really those cool. Those are so fun. I cannot wait to experiment yeah. with that. Yay. And so, yeah, we're just we're just watering these regularly, just keeping an eye on them. They're nice and healthy. Of course, so, Borgesina is in the background here. Of course. So okay. come on over this way. This is fun. This is really cool here. So yeah, like Allison said, we rearranged things. We kind of grouped everything with like with like. Well, kind of almost. Kind of. I know. We're, so we're getting there. we've got our Shasta daisies, daisies here. We've got sweet daisy birdie. I, we got to take a close up. Yeah. That. These are beautiful. That's so cute. Yeah. And what makes these unique from our older, um, our older Shasta daisies, which are right here, is you can see if you look at the flowers, look at the ruffled, the ruffled petals in here. It's like a mass of petals. And that's between the yellow centers and then the ray flowers. There's the disc flowers and then there's the ray flowers out here are the petals. They've got this frilly type of nest going on here. I, I don't even know what the technical name would be for that, but that's the difference between these daisy birdies and uh, and our regular daisies, our regular Shasta daisies that we took from our yard. Yeah, we cut these out. We divided these from that beautiful bunch, if mm -hmm. you remember, from, mm -hmm. or if our audience remembers. Beautiful, yeah. So. Wow, yeah, yay. everything's looking so Can't gorgeous. Wait to get these in their new home in our new yard. I know, me too. And then we've got this isn't really grouped with like with like, but this just is here. Um, this is one of our mums. Um, it's growing really well. We've got some others over here and actually throughout See, the whole area. So right here, everywhere. Here's a really good looking oh, that's one a right here. There's a mum. Yep, got a mum there. And there's kind of like mums everywhere. Mums yeah. everywhere. Yeah. So yes. now we've got our dianthus area yay. over here, and these are looking those are good. Paint the town pink. Magenta. Paint, Paint the, the town, town magenta. magenta. That's right. Yep. Now, and then that one, that's funny. There's four different plants in there, oh, but you wouldn't, packed. you would never know it. But for the move, we had to pack them right in together. So. I know. Those are so cute. We yeah. Another looking, bunch there. Looking good. There. And that one we're rehabbing a little bit and yeah. it's coming back. So. Got a little too dry, it's little but it's, dry. it's coming back. It's doing good. So yeah. And then we just got a mass of different stuff. plants that we took from the, from the yard. Um, we've got a little bit of lavender on your left hand oh, side yeah. there. Um, right back here. Oh, here yep. I'll so just Spanish go lavender, we'll go still in bloom. Really cool, still in bloom. Good. Um, a rosemary there. But yeah, I think Allison wanted to show you our nephophia. I know, I love the nephophia. Coming in here. here. It's Here's really doing well. By the way, right here. Yeah. 
So here around. we go. Yay. Yep, look at that guy. Just look started blooming earlier there. this week. Really doing oh, good. And as you can see, it starts down at the bottom of the spike type of flower. It's got a mass of flowers on one spike, on one stem. It starts blooming down below, and then it progresses with the blooms opening over time up the stem. Love so, that color. It's mm -hmm. so fun. We oh, were so into orange last so year. So bright and beautiful. And, uh, Water-wise, uh, plants, and these are specifically from um, High Country Gardens. They sent us these to trial out here. And so we got them planted up. And you can see they're all doing really good. They're yeah. looking healthy. They weren't doing so hot when they first got here. They were, they'd been in shipping containers and kind of closed up for too long. But they're looking so much better now hey. from what they were. And oh yeah, ooh, a flower. hey, now what is this? Is an epita, right? Yep, yeah. I believe so. No, we're yep. really excited so, to see all these. Yeah, and we were really glad to actually have these uh, these horse trough planters because these are perennials. We want to have more of a a permanent, semi permanent, semi. Um, temporary type of planting for them and we thought this was a good alternative to actually placing them in the ground because we want to be able to take these with us when we find our new property and so um, we thought this was a good way to do that so anyway so guys over by these high country garden uh, plants that we're trialing right now we've also got these asiatic oh, starlet lilies aren't these beautiful Oh my, oh my God, gosh. look at that. They look, look tropical. Oh, they're so gorgeous in that color, that transition of, of like almost like a whitish yellow in the center to that super, that, you see that speckledness there? And then there's that dark violet that comes in, but then it's also got that, that orange on the sides the, of the margins of the petals. And then it goes into that lighter yellow orange on the top. Ugh. Love gorgeous them. now yeah. we didn't get to see these in bloom last year even mm -hmm. though we planted all of these last year yep it's just little... it wasn't a good uh it wasn't a good year for them yeah, it just wasn't just, their year to flower and that yeah, was okay just their know? first year right yeah. is that kind yeah of... it was it was their first year and so sometimes they flower in the first year after you plant them sometimes they don't they definitely grew last year we just never saw flowers yeah, and that's okay it's really fun to see so yeah and then on the other side over here we know it's a lily it's really tall it's almost it's like really woolly like it's really hairy it's kind of interesting but um yeah it's definitely got a different leaf than these asiatic starlet lilies but we're pretty sure that's a type of lily and we're thinking it's a tiger lily Hoping. it's a type of tiger lily so we're gonna see once it flowers and then we'll be able to identify it better we okay you guys so moving on from i mean there's stuff everywhere um these are lavender various lavenders we've got our one of our favorite um mm -hmm. egyptian lavender Fern yeah. leaf lavender back here. Fern You've got to see this lavender. Let's beautiful get foliage. Kind of in the shade from it's the rest so of it. It's so different. Can oh, you guys see that? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Now, this is a new plant for us. We bought this and planted the same plant last year, but it didn't overwinter very well. And to be honest, that was probably our bad for leaving it outside when it's actually zoned down to nine, maybe even 10. We'd have to find the tag. Yeah, I think it's nine. So unfortunately, we're at zone 8B, so we, we know now to bring that in over the winter. Oops. Mm -hmm. Oops. So we bought a new one because that was so gorgeous. We were really bummed. This is our Platinum Blonde English Lavender. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous yep. foliage. Yep, you see that, see that variegation? Look at that. On those leaves. Yeah. If you didn't know already, Sean and I are big, big oh, lavender fans. Love lavender. We can't wait. One of the reasons we're moving is we want to have fields of lavender. We need more space. Yep. So here's, and these are cuttings. Now, all of these, actually... Right here is an English lavender in the back, right where my hand is. Here's a Spanish lavender. Here's another English lavender. These are all cuttings from our original yard yep. where they came from. Yep. So we were lucky enough to take cuttings from. We have videos on those. So we're very excited. either look for the card uh, up above here on the video or look down below for the link. Yeah, good call. And I, I really have to show this one off. I just love the way this one has grown. Oh my God. We've kind of shaped it, but not really. It kind of just did its own thing. Mm -hmm. It's just so cute, right? It looks like mm -hmm. a little topiary lavender. It, it does, it did it by itself. So Gorgeous. love that. So they're thriving and doing well right here. Now this is, that's kind of our lavender little container area. Here's a bunch of cone flowers and some other things. But down in here, we've got lots and lots of different cone flowers. There's almost like too many. I mean, they're very young. Something is eating them. Yeah, we got a little something That's chewing on Maybe that. some grasshoppers or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. So we've got a beautiful, this will be a cantaloupe, um, a double flower, um, cantaloupe supreme. And we're not sure what this is. So we're gonna wait and see what happens. It's not really yeah. hurting anything, so well, we'll just see. Came along with it when it we did, dug it up. I know. This is a color-coded orange, um, Orange You Awesome from Proven Winners. Beautiful. It's looking really healthy, it too. It is. It's, what else do we have? That's this is right. an unmarked cone flower, which might be 
I hate to guess, actually. I don't know what, we don't know what this is yet. This is a cone flower that we added last year and unfortunately we don't have the tag. Whoops. So we'll, we'll keep you posted on that. I like that though. It's got, it's got a different cute. kind of leaf. It's got a smaller leaf than say these guys. And it might be, that might be from, it's just maturity level, but it looks like it's kind of a denser grower. Yeah, it does. I, I really am so curious to find cool. out what that's going to end up being. That's fun. Um, this is, let's find out. Ooh, it's really tall. This is Echinacea <laughs> Sunny Days Lemon. Oh, Sunny Days Here, Lemon. I'll hold it down a little bit. Now we're, we're, we have a lot more, um, holes on some of the leaves the lower leaves here yeah we're gonna have to do probably some, some young grasshoppers just yeah. just came out and growing it's not harming the flowers we just don't like the way it looks yep. it's probably because they're all condensed in here maybe mm -hmm. um this i think fingers crossed because i know we took it huh? this is like our famous last <laughs> words today um this is a red beautiful red cone flower that was an aas winner um gorgeous and the name eludes us right now, you guys. So we will get back to you on this, but we're, we're hopeful this was taken out of our yard and it'll be bright red. Okay, so moving on, we've got a whole bunch of herbs. It's just like herbs from here over, including these pansies, which um, pansies. normally don't, they're gonna probably start slowing down they now that should. it's warming yeah, up. Yeah, the hot weather's coming on. Let's see yeah. if I can get through here. This is a cilantro that just went wild. We cut the heck out of it before and now it's, it's just coming it's back. everywhere. Yeah. But um, we're loving the wildness of this. It's kind of dense, but it's so pretty. Very pretty. We've got this gorgeous pan. Well, let's find a better looking flower. Here it is. It's kind of to dig. This gorgeous pansy. Look how pretty that is. Beautiful. And Beautiful. this this is a frizzle sizzles viola. I've got a couple of those in here. Yeah. We've got a silver thyme, which is in bloom and we think is just so pretty. Yeah. Behind this, we have one of our rosemary cuttings, which is doing really well. It's doing really well. It's doing Ooh, better than some of the bigger that. plants, yeah. And then we've got this awesome curry plant back here, which we have yet to use in the kitchen. Oh, wow, it got real stringy. It's huge. Wow. I, yeah. I need it's to cut that back a little bit. This We thought we lost this, so yeah. I'm happy to see that. Yeah, me too. Oh, you guys, wish you could smell that. Okay, yep. so let's move over there. So uh, stuff, you guys, we've got some herbs mixed <laughs> in with um, lupin. <laughs> Which unfortunately we just realized has a little aphid problem again. Yep. They, so we'll, we're taking care of that. Aphids yeah. like our lupins. They like this lupin for some reason, or yeah. this stem. Yeah, here let's, I mean. I mean, if you guys wanna see, I don't know. They're kind of all over. We even filmed this in our book. Yep. Our book that came out right. last year, Growing Plants oh, and Flowers. Right there, we yes. highlighted all of these aphids on this plant. They love this wild perennial lupin. Yep, they do. Um, we love it too, but. Yeah. If it acts as kind of an attractor plant and keeps them off everything else, great. Yeah. What about our clematis? We have clematis everywhere. I almost oh wonder if this side would be better. These are so we gorgeous. We used to have this growing up and over our old um, arbor in our yard that Sean built. And Beautiful. so we just kind of, it's not getting very high because we're not letting it. These are big. I mean, that's, but look, look like, how big that is. I mean, yeah. here's my hand. Look how big that is. We That's love huge. these clematis and we don't have the name of these, but there are two more varieties over here. So we're using a tomato trellis or a tomato cage to like, and it's actually growing really well on this. Mm -hmm. it's kind of fun to watch. Oh, that, yeah, that's a different one. Let's get that. We've got a different one right there. Ooh, Isn't that pretty? Pretty. Very pretty. Kind of, and then if you dig down in oh. here, oh, I was gonna cut they're everywhere. Show. I know. just wanted to show this, this bright. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that. Look I at love that those. Guy. There's a really wow. pretty kind of white. It's almost like a light green with a purple center. Let's see. It's down oh, yeah. here. There it is. I, can, we keep, I can see it. Yeah. We keep meaning to repot this, you guys. So when we move and get set up, we'll have this in a new home. All of these will be in a new spot. Mm -hmm. So right below the clematis, some of our favorite planters from last year and the year before. I think mm. we had these for our book. From our backyard. From our backyard. Yeah. So we've got this gorgeous... Texas Hummingbird Mint, our Agastache. Yeah, this is that other one we were telling you about. Look how pink I love that this looks. one. That other one, the new one we got, is more red. I don't think we have the it's tags in anymore. here. We're, no. we're going to have to find those, you guys. Sorry That's about okay. that. Texas Hummingbird Mint is Texas Hummingbird it's Mint. It's so pretty. And then we have um, a mix of two different uh, cone flowers. You can actually tell the leaves are different here. Oh, yeah. One of them is bright, hot pink. Um, the other one is white. One's an AAS winner and one isn't. And I'm sorry, we don't have the names right now. It's that. okay. We're in flux. Our garden's in flux. Flux. It's but okay. I know you guys probably want to know names, so stay tuned. We'll have another update in about a month. Definitely. When they're in bloom. Definitely. Gosh. Awesome. Heading this way. There's so much. There's so much. This is kind of the shady, some partial shade. Oh, yeah. But shade. 
it gets a tiny bit of sun, maybe like an hour or two. Yeah. So we have our hostas over here, which are doing really well. We were sad to leave most of our hostas in our old yard, but we saved two of them. Get these guys and that guy. I know, let's check. We've got the tag, luckily. This okay. is Shadowland Diamond Lake from Proven Winners. Proven Winners, all right. And we have, this was a brand, this is only a year old. Um, yeah, I love the bluish kind of tinged leaves on that yeah, it's one. It's kind of hard to see it right now because oh, it's, it's okay. in the full sun, but it's okay. Okay, you good. Know, that's good. Um, this is Patriot, I think. I don't think the tag's in here, darn it. But I know we grabbed Patriot, so it's yep. got to be this one. Is that from the front yard? This is from the front yard. Yeah. And I just, I absolutely love that. Gorge. We also have elephant ears from, um, oh, now if you guys have followed, brothers. we planted these last year. This is their second year flower, or yep, it's our second year growing. Growing, yep. So we've got various, um, these are just from a pack of elephant ears that we got at Eden Brothers. Oh, these are beautiful. So these are doing really well. They're just starting yeah, to pop up. Great. This is also Eden Brothers. This is called Illustrious. Illustrious. I don't know. Can you see that veining kind of that? Oh yeah. You can see the, Pretty. the different kinds of colors on there. Yeah. Let's show them the discovery we made. Discovery. So we've got oh, yeah. African daisies in partial shade. We have, here's our Christmas rose hellebore, you guys. What in the world? It's blooming. What? It's blooming. It's it's the end of Ju it's the end of June. That is and it's so blooming. Bizarre. Crazy. The only thing we can figure out, guys, is that it's we've had some really cool nights around here in the 40s for some of the nights, and it's just triggered the plant just to flower. All right, guys. On our way to the dahlias, I know you're, you're they're kind of behind me yeah, here, so if you want to just look real quick, yeah. But um, before we get there, we wanted to show you these summer crush hydrangeas. Um, they're in pots, they're in a nice shaded area. We're trying to keep them as stress-free as possible. And uh, because they're in the, these pots, we took these out of the ground from our old house. And look at these, they're really starting to flower. Look how many buds and flowers there are. This is amazing. This is, these look amazing. We had, what, four of these in our old yard? We did, and we were able to take two of them. So we feel very lucky to be yeah, able to take them. Half. But that's okay, you know, gotta leave a little bit for the next guy. So the next owner. So yeah, but I mean, these guys are looking really good. They're getting a little kind of lengthy in their growth and stuff from the last couple of years. We need to give them a little bit of a haircut, but that's gonna be later, not right now. Don't prune your, your hydrangeas right now while they're blooming, if they're blooming, or before they're blooming, because you're gonna remove all the, all the flowers, but you can definitely do it after they bloom. You wanna get them shaped a certain way, get them out of the way of a walkway or whatever. Uh, prune them after they flower. Yes. Without further ado, here's all the dahlias. Now, you can see we're growing them in these grow bags from Smart Pots. This is so cool, and we just want a uh, quick shout out to Smart Pots. Thank you, Smart Pots, for donating uh, about half of these, uh, these grow bags to us. We really appreciate it. And a link will be down below if you guys want to check those out. These are seven gallon uh, grow bags. Um, they have them too. You can see these have handles on them. Not Highly all, recommend. Oh yeah, because we, we have to move these to get to the grass to then bring them back and maintain and keep the area looking good. We would highly recommend buying these with these uh, these handles. Don't get the ones without because it's hard to uh, move them and uh, we, we wouldn't be able to do this without those. So, but anyway, so look at all these guys. They're looking so good. Now, some of you might be wondering how, um, how we're keeping like pests and stuff off of this. And if you can see inside, we did, we are finding some damage, like kind of on, like on our coneflower. Yeah, a little things. bit. There's, there's a little bit of chewing going on throughout, but it's not, it's not significant to hurt the plant overall. So we're okay with it. We do have some neem oil. So once we see something, we will uh, spray it. But yeah, we've got the sluggo in there. Yeah. Yep. We just did that the other day. So glad to see that's doing its job. It's, yeah, it's working. So, but I mean, oh my God. These, so, okay. When so did we plant these? We planted these, I think at the end of May. Yeah. Yeah, it's been, so it's been almost a month, and so or maybe a little over a month, and these guys are doing great. They're doing great. We couldn't be happier with all these. Some of them didn't make it. We had about five of the five of the grow bags didn't have anything sprout up. I know but, that was a bummer. But we, we still have twenty that made it, and they yeah. made it through the the winter, and uh, being dug up and stored. So we, we're going to count that as we're a win. A real big win. Look so, at these. I love the foliage on this. So where's our tag? We is, have tags um, I know we have somewhere. Them. We have to tag everything. We had everything these all in our front yard in the beds that Sean built last year, so we dug them all up quick. So we took them with us. Waltzing Matilda. Waltzing Matilda. That's yep. what I thought. And this is from Eden Brothers, you guys. I think all of these bulbs are from Eden Brothers. I think so too. Yeah. And so, um, again, um, we'll have a link down below for Eden Brothers for the dahlias themselves if you want to go check these out on their website. So, but yeah, 
beautiful plants. Some of these big ones, I want to know what they are. What's this one right here? This guy, Poo. Oh, that's a favorite. Yep, it's this kaleidoscope of orange and kind of a, I, I don't know what you would yellow. call it. Yellow. Uh, yeah, like yeah. Yellow. well, there's a yeah. yellow, there's an orange, and then there's like a light type of red. It all oh, mixes in yeah. on this huge, huge bloom. Just, Just like beautiful. a single, almost an ornamental kind of form. And we had to rearrange these. We got the bigger ones, besides that one, to the back because the sun tracks this way, east to west. So we got the bigger ones in the back, smaller ones in the front, so they can get more of that, that sunlight for longer, get them kind of growing faster. Yeah, it reminds me of the old classroom pictures in elementary school. I was always in the nah, back row. I know, right? I was always the I tall know. kid in the back row. Yep, tall to short. Yep. Always had that progression. Except for that guy. I know, these are beautiful. Just couldn't be happier with this, you guys. Yeah, if you guys have any questions about what we're doing with these grow bags and, um, just what, what we're, how we're growing these dahlias and what to look for. Just if you want to know what we're doing, let us know down below. We'd love to talk to you about all this. This is, this is definitely an experiment for us with these grow bags and growing the dahlias this way. So, all right, guys, we wanted to show you this really quick because this is cool. What we have here is a Kufia hybrida or Vermilioner firecracker plant. And look at this guy. Now, this isn't from last year. This, we just planted this this year. We bought this because we wanted to add it to this barrel because here's the other one from last, last year. Last year's a little cute guy. Yep. Now, this little guy, we weren't sure if this was going to make it. It is zoned for 8, uh, 8 to 11, but um, we weren't sure if it's going to make it because of our really, really cold winter. So we're glad it came back. It's doing a great job. It's, it's coming in, but it's, it's kind of growing a little slow. So we got it this uh, companion plant here. So this is just going to be beautiful. And if you guys don't know, this is a great plant for hummingbirds. They literally hover around this plant um, like every single day. And it gets so, really big and it bloomed all summer. I think, yeah, this one last year got about this big. It was huge. It was, it was sent to yeah. us by Proven Winners. And, and, like, and our blanket flower right here. This is a, this is a heated up yellow oh, uh, Gallardia. You guys can and see the picture. On this the made it there. too. And we we're really happy to see this one because this one last year, it got like it this. It got very large. It was very big and multiple Huge. flowers. Well, and the point of this, this was a project from last year. It was a mm -hmm. pollinator attractor. Mm -hmm. um, it was. You know, a yep. barrel. Yep, and then we've got our super tunia here, but that's, uh, it's doing okay. No, it's kind of, sometimes this is honey. Yeah, sometimes you'll see this in, in petunias where they kind of get this kind of, I don't know, it's not very dense growth. It's a little stringy and we're like, what is going on? So we've had this happen before. We're gonna do our best to, uh, to fertilize this and really nurture it and get it to just kind of fill in more and look healthier. We planted, we transplanted these glads, which is off season from when you normally would do it, mm -hmm. but we went, we needed to get them kind of in a larger space. They're doing really well. Yep. Yep. They're doing, they're very healthy. We need to keep fertilizing and watering them and just keep them growing. They're going to do great right here. We've got two wave petunias, um, rose fusion, kind of flanking the yellow super tunia honey in the middle there. Mm -hmm. So those are spread, those are probably doubled since we planted those oh, easy. maybe two or three weeks ago. Oh yeah, easy. So those are just going to keep growing and growing and filling in and trailing over and we're really excited for that. So yep. that'll look fun. By the way, last year's when we first planted this. We uh, call this our tropical shade planter <clears> because <throat> it's mostly full of tropical or looks like tropical uh, plants. So we've got one of our, our kind of the biggest guy we got here is our acanthus mollis. This is our oak leaf acanthus. Oak leaf acanthus. Those leaves, they actually look oak leaf. They're like an oak leaf. They do. Yep. So yep. in the middle of kind of layer of, or level of this, we've got three heart's tongue ferns. Oh, those are looking and so those good. those look so good. <clears throat> Yeah, we made a video about this uh, earlier this spring about how to kind of revamp this and kind of freshen it up and, and cut those back. Um, so yeah, definitely look for a link for that. Yeah, it's looking good. It looked so sad at the time after you cut all the dead out, but mm -hmm. it's like perfect. Oh, yeah. it's filled right and in. And then in the front, we've got three different beautiful begonias. Oh, we yes. love begonias, you guys. Oh, Maybe you yeah. do too, because they're just, they add so much color in shady areas. So let's find, now watch out, we've got some bird poop kind of on top of some of these, so uh -oh. careful. This is a proven uh, selections, non-stop orange. Beautiful. It's just, just like, look at that. It like glows. It's huge. Oh, this, love that. Um, this is probably my favorite. This is called On Top Sunset Shades. Oh, definitely a sunset. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, wow. These are kind of older blooms, but you see there's yeah. some newer ones coming in oh, and they just, yeah. 
They just like, they look like roses almost. Oh, beautiful. And this is a gorgeous, this is a nonstop uh, rose petticoat. Yep, it's got that rose flower structure. That's beautiful. Okay, you guys, thank you for joining us on our, um, what are we calling this, our early July yes. garden tour. Yes, early early summer. Early summer. Early summer garden tour. So we'll tour. be back in yeah. about four weeks from now with another tour, but we've got lots of videos coming up before that. Yep, yeah, and we, yeah. we know we get a little rambly on things, but we're so excited we to share this with you, and you know we hope you get as excited about these plants as we do. We hope you're having so. a great garden, um, a great summer in your garden so yep. far. Great garden year so far. Yeah, hey, you know, if you got any comments or questions about what you saw here today, go ahead and leave them down below. We love hearing from you. And make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so you get updates on our latest videos. Yeah, that's a wrap. So again, thank you for being here and stay tuned yep. for our next video coming up very soon. Yep. Bye, you guys. Bye-bye.